What is up everybody, this is Ronnie from Canva. Welcome to another tutorial special CCC edition. Today I am super happy to welcome back my good friend Ramon, Ramon Quintero, who is one of our CCCs and today Ramon is going to show us some magic with the new text effects. So Ramon, are you here? What are you going to teach us today? Hey Ronnie. So today we are covering text effect and the importance of how an outline text can drastically change any design. Text effects with a focus on the outlines. This sounds super exciting, Ramon. And knowing you, I know it's gonna be good. So Ramon, the floor is yours. All right, so I am simply gonna be starting with a Instagram post. I'm gonna be starting off with a, a magazine cover that I would like to display the outline effect with some of the features um, that Canva has to offer. So I'm gonna just start off with a frame. As you can see, I'm putting this frame right in the center. And then I'm gonna start off with some of the text that I'm gonna build around this particular design. And for this one, I ended up deciding just to, uh, I'm just gonna go with summer. And as I put summer together, I'm gonna be also including some of the other elements like what um, edition this is, what date is it going to be published, and then I'm just going to have some fun with it by putting this text in some other locations to kind of um, give some uh, a modern look to this particular finish on this particular idea in terms of a magazine cover. So I want you to notice that I practice a lot of the um, just um, blocking method um, you would say to kind of just map things out and make sure that they're centered as you can see on this particular one i am using the block on the left to kind of just use it as a way for me to um, to put things in place put it in the center as you can see the summer is centered between that space between the frame and the edge the top edge that allows me to make sure that everything is in proportion with the design make sure that things are centered and aligned. And as you can see, all the text is going to be aligned to their corners to make sure that I have this um, nice finish, having everything mapped out to the lines and centered. I'm going to do the same thing at the bottom. One other favorite tool of mine is the position. As you, you saw there, I just simply um, am using the block to position it all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna use it again as a spacer and to help me um, as a guide to control where everything's gonna be placed. And I'm switching intentionally these texts. As you can see, I'm just switching them over just to um, allow some different um, elements to this particular graphic. Um, something I saw as an idea in another graphic and I was like what a great idea let me use it on this particular one and kind of just kind of seeing how it will flow in this particular design so I'm happy with how things are shaping up um, again this is a design that I was in, um, inspired by a magazine cover I wanted to see how this can be executed in Canva so here it is um, again I want to point out how I'm using the block the color block on the left, and I'm just using it as a spacer and also to help me guide and make sure that things are in the center. So I'm just making this one up, the wedding.com. Not sure if it really exists or not, but I'm using it as an example in this design. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there in the center. I'm gonna use the position again. That's gonna help me make sure that it's centered to this particular layout and, um, and design. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the next side. Um, I'm gonna rotate it, make sure things are spaced out and centered. And as you can see, the block is there as the spacer to help me and guide me. I don't need it anymore, so I'm just gonna delete it and get rid of it. Next up, this is where I'm gonna be using the text effect. I'm gonna first write the word magazine and I want it to be vertical and right in the center. So I wanna go ahead and do that right now and then I want to apply this effect that Canva has recently added to um, pretty much the tools that they have in store for us. So I'm excited to kind of just show that feature and how it, it complements this particular design. So just simply fine tuning. I want to make sure that the spacing and I want to 
find something that works for the setting for this particular graphic and uh, I'm liking how things are laying out I want to change the font I want to make sure that I get a, a more bold font for the effect of the outline so it will work nicely um, I'm liking the way that this is um, coming out together so I ended up also adjusting the line um, thickness to 55 as you can see um, and that helped me so the the middle will be the outline using the, the effect outline. The side ones, which is gonna just have the word forever, is gonna be a solid version. You can see it outlined right now, but I'm gonna go back um, and simply change this in just a moment. After I place it where I like it, I want it in a particular place in this particular design. And then I am simply gonna use the same method. I'm gonna use the blocks to help me space things out and make sure that everything is um, evenly spaced and I'm having the right proportions on each side. So here you go. I'm just simply going to change it back to the solid. I want to. I, I want it to be solid, and then the outline right in the middle. And now I'm ready to put in the image. So I have already uploaded some Im images that I want to try out. This one is one that I really like, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust it and make this one work. And I also want to do something very unique to this particular design that I haven't done to some of the other ones, and that is. After I am done, I'm going to change the colors, make it white so that the text could pop, but I'm also going to duplicate the frame for this design and, and I'm going to do something unique to some of the elements that I have that I've uploaded. But before I do that, I want to change the color since I'm here. I'm going to adjust the color to something close to what is found on this particular design. So notice how I'm going to use the change all down there. I'm going to change it. Boom. I am done. And then I am going to duplicate that frame, put it right in the center because it, the frame is right in the center. And I'm gonna just simply add a PNG transparent um, light leak that will help me kind of just give the right finish for this particular project. As you can see, I'm adjusting it. It's on top of the text, it's on top of the image, and it's giving me that, that nice finish that, I, that I'm looking for for this particular cover. And, and, and it's something that I'm like, that's something that I've been working on that I've, I've been wanting to incorporate on some of my designs. So there it is in action for you guys to see. And then at this point, I'm just going to simply just add a, a QR code. And I just, as you can see, I just put camera.com, generate something for me. And I'm going to also build a, a block frame by just clicking on R for rectangle. And I'm going to make that a white and it's just going to give me some negative space around that um, QR code. And um, yeah, so I'm going to center that, make sure that it works. I'm going to make it, I made it transparent so that I can see what I'm doing and placing everything the way that I want. I'm going to make sure that those two elements, the QR code and the box are grouped together. And I'm going to make sure that it's in the front. So that way it's a very top layer on this particular design. And there you have it on this particular design magazine cover. There it is ready to go and hope you guys like that. I also have another project, another graphic for you guys in store. So um, on the next one that I'm gonna do, it's gonna be a workout graphic. Um, and again, I'm gonna be using the outline text effect. And not only that, but I'm also gonna complement this with a, a particular technique that I like to use in exporting something into a PNG and then using another effect on the font but i'm going to say that towards the end because that's something that you guys will like how, how it comes all together so right here i'm just going to be doing this uh workout graphic i'm going to use to give some context of what i'm doing with this i'm going to be giving or i'm going to be i'm um, using some of the espn colors especially the bright green that they've been using recently and some of the blues that they've been using um and um at the end i'm going to be using also the the dual effect the uh, to kind of change the color of the, the background image. But right now, I'm just simply using the word never as I'm gonna use a phrase for this particular design. And I wanna just utilize this, this theme um, to kind of just um, be the center of this graphic. So right now, all I'm doing is putting this word, I'm duplicating it, putting it in the center, kind of seeing what I'm happy with, finding the right placement, I'm looking for the right particular um, number of words that I need in terms of never how many times I want it. And in this case, I kind of wanted it to be very um, populated with it right down the center. So I went right here. I got one, two, I got seven of them. So at this point, I'm happy where I'm, where I'm at. 
So I want to make sure that I utilize this particular one. So I'm going to just use one word, never change the color so it, it can help us kind of identify which one I'm working on. And I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and choose the third one from the bottom um, and, and delete the one on top. And as you can see, I have two, two layers here, two text boxes, the one in the bottom, is simply helping me to um, give me guidance on the order of words. The red one is going to be the one that I want to leave solid and the rest I want to use the effect to change and make it into an outline um, using the that text effect. But again, like I said, I want to go with the ESPN color so I want to use a bright neon green color and then I want to change the center to a solid also the same color and then here it is with the effect I like what I'm, I'm seeing there and then <clears throat> and then before I do that trick that I told you about I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the other compliments that I wanted to add to this particular graphic complete the statement that I have here which is never um, and and go ahead with um, adding this particular phrase in this graphic so we have the completion of what it's gonna look like at the end So in this one, I just simply wanted to go with the motivational one. So it's never give up, um, work hard at what you're doing, and more than importantly, stay humble in what you're doing. So in this uh, particular graphic, I'm gonna put this full statement as, as a whole right on top of the, the graphic towards the left. Um, our eye is starting at that point and kind of guiding us through the middle all the way to the right, um, right down um, bottom for this one. I want to continue to add before I do any of the color on the background changes, uh, but I want to be adding some small elements. So um, I, as I was thinking about this graphic, I was thinking, what are some of the little things that we tell ourselves to kind of motivate ourselves to tell us, hey, keep working hard or keep running or don't give up or get up while you when you fall down. Those are some of the things that were running through my head as I'm, 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 I'm creating this. So I am go, going to go ahead and put some of those small little blurs um, and yes they're, they're going to be small they're not intended to be red per se unless you zoom in but i wanted them to be somewhere on the graphic even if they're small and not as visible as I, um as other text would be so as you can see i'm writing them out right here they one of them is i will run i will get up i will give my best and i want to just go ahead and just do two more here um, Let's see. So I'm liking the, the flow that I got. All right. So the last one I'm just going to go with, I will not stop trying. And again, since I have um, particular graphics that I have vertically, I want to make sure that this one, I'm going to rotate it as well and make it vertical reading from the bottom up. And again, I want to make this clear. The, the, the goal with this particular text is more for aesthetic look, not to be read unless you zoom in. But you guys know what it says as you, you're watching this video. Um, those are kind of just reminders of like, hey, I want to give my best in what I'm doing. I don't want to give up and I want to keep pushing myself to, to a better version of who I am. And Right here, I thought it was fun to just kind of add a, uh, a barcode. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm adding, I'm adding a solid um, block um, in the background. I'm gonna change the color to that, the green as well. But before I do that, I'm gonna just put this barcode right on top, kind of just give it that impression of it's like something purchased or from a magazine or something in that nature. But I, I, again, this, this, this element is mostly for aesthetic and just for looks. It's not, um, it doesn't, doesn't have any numbers it's all zero 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 but for this exercise i wanted to put it on here because i think it's a good piece to kind of complement this particular design now i'm just going to simply adjust the elements here to kind of just um kind of place them and, and give me until i'm happy with it all right I, I, I like how things are coming together um lastly i i thought of dots as a way to kind of surround some of these elements um, and, and kind of just kind of have each corner have its own little thing. So I want you to notice as I'm putting this, um, th these, this dots per se from, so from, the, from the elements, I'm utilizing the, the grid that Canva provides when you're moving elements 
Um, notice it again when I start moving it. I'm moving it right now. There you go. You see it. I am kind of just centering things based off of that grid. And I'm going to do the same thing as a guide to guide me on the other corner to place this particular element. So now I have the dots. I have the, the phrases that I want. I have the elements that I want. I, I believe I have all the elements except I want to do something unique to the background. And I also want to do something very unique to the word um, never um, for this particular graphic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to export this in a PNG. And I've already um, downloaded this before to, to test it out and see what works and what doesn't. So I'm downloading this in a PNG. I'm then uploading it to Canva. And that's what I'm going to be choosing. I'm going to go ahead and delete this, this layer. I'm going to go ahead and find that element and, and bring that in so that I can um, show the effect that I want on this particular graphic. But before I do that, let's go ahead and change the, the color on this background. And again, like I said, I wanted to go with the ESP color. So that's what I'm going to do with the effect of the background. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust that to a blue dark um, to make the green really pop and, and, and give it that vibrant athletic look to it. And again, this could be achieved by um, the, the effect Dotone, as you can see right there. And now I see all the, the elements popping. I see the, the, the richness of this text. And now, since I, I have that PNG, what I'm going to do is simply make it the size of the grid, which is uh, the, the, the Instagram size. I have it the way that I want it, but notice something very important. You, you don't want to leave it the size of the, the Instagram. You want to um, crop those edges in because if, if it ends up taking the entire screen, um, by default, it will automatically become the background. So you don't want that to happen. So as you adjust, go ahead and, and, and remember to make sure that you bring those um, side corners in and make sure it doesn't take up the entire grid, meaning the entire window of this particular graphic. And after you do that, I'm going to simply go to the effects panel and add an effect to this particular um, PNG text word never. And I want to focus on the word never. So for this one, I'm going to go with um, the effects liquify. And um, I'm going with this effect because in this effect with um, tilt shift, I want to um, have full control on what what am I going to focus on? And this is this is in the solid word, never. And as you can see, you have full control over what you can do. But by doing this, it gives you this nice effect that kind of just makes it very sharp and and unique to this particular graphic. And I hope that um, it's something that you guys like and are happy to try. All right, Ramon, this was amazing. I really love the way you came up with these two designs. Uh, to be honest, I prefer the second one. I like the first one and I like that you came up with two very different styles. One which is more maybe feminine and the second one very masculine uh, with the ESPN look. But I really love both of your techniques. I love the use of uh, the alignments, the, the text effects, of course, and the different tricks that you show here. I think you dropped once again a ton of value here in this tutorial for our users. So thank you very much for that. Like we always appreciate you. We're always welcome to come back and do more tutorial for us because we love them. All right, Ramon, I wanted to ask you, you are a source of inspiration for so many of us. Where can we follow you, learn more about your designs and see what you do? If you'd like to give me a follow, you can follow me on Instagram at Weekend Designs, or you can follow one of my Facebook groups titled Canva for Church. All right, guys, you heard it. You can follow Ramon on Instagram or join his Facebook community. And that is it for me in this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching it until the end. Show us some love in the comments. Uh, show us the designs you come up with. I'm sure uh, Ramon will be there watching what you create. So show him what you came up with following his techniques. Okay, that's it for this week. I will see you in the next tutorial.